So when it comes to making your own picks, there's a lot of different materials that you can work with. The first tool that I ever made myself, I made out of a hacksaw blade. But there are a lot of other things, too. This is a bristle from a street sweeper. If you see a street sweeper going by, walk along its path after it's gone by, and occasionally, a bristle will snap off from their brush. This is nice, flexible spring steel of exactly the right width that you want it to be to pick with. Um, they work great. You might need to clean them up a little bit with some steel wool, but you can definitely make picks out of them. Additionally, a nice piece of spring steel can be found in the windshield wiper blade of most cars. There's a piece here and a piece here. These can be a little bit dangerous to remove. I just pulled this off of my car, so I'm not stoked about pulling it apart, but I'll pull it down a little bit at least. If you pull the middle section out and down, it will reveal the pieces of spring steel right in there. This will pull all the way down and the spring steel will come out cleanly. If you try to rip the steel out, it becomes like a bow and will just fire, you know, into you. A friend of mine actually put one deep into his hand as he was trying to remove one from a windshield wiper blade. Eh, I'll get that fixed and put back on my car later. Also, cheap knives. Um, there's, uh, these are stainless steel typically, but they still have a good flex to them, and it's a lot of material, unless you can find really thin ones, like maybe paring knives, things like that. Uh, but, you know, take it to a grinder and you can remove a lot of material and start working with it. Uh, I've seen a couple of pretty interesting picks made with knives, uh, knife blades. Okay, in order to actually make picks, though, we're going to cut away from our nice, uh, uh, you know, studio space and move over to my workshop. That's also going to mean a deterioration in camera quality, because I have to shoot with something that I don't mind some metal chips flying into. But, we'll make a couple...